You know, I had just gotten this Kodak ZI6, and I think I mentioned in the ZI6 video that I would have liked a ZI8, but I couldn't find one for cheap, which I should have known would have doomed me to find one for cheap. This is what we have here. Okay, so I accidentally hit the stop button instead of actually switching the the lens. Let's see, ZI8 pocket video camera. I'm not really a fan of the fixed focus on the ZI6, but you can see there. Define yourself in high definition. I think the screen size is about the same as what you get with the ZI6. But the difference is the ZI8 will do 1080p and has the electronic image stabilizer. I'm not sure if I have the complete package here or if I'm missing some stuff. There, of course, is the camera itself. I have the little power ad adapter. And use the user manual. This I don't think was included with it, but it was included with this. I have a little tripod. Those things kind of suck, though, so I don't know if I'll ever use it. It's an HDMI cable. And, uh, composite video and audio. Looks like it's only monophonic. Which is fine. You're not going to get much audio fidelity out of a camera like this anyway. So we go and we take a look. Okay, funny enough, I was going to just mention that this thing, the ZI-8, used an internal lithium-ion battery rather than the double A's that the ZI-6 uses and the batteries and the ZI-6 ran out. But, uh... There you can see it. It's a similar control layout. It's not quite the same. Also seems to support direct YouTube uploading. Not that that works in this day and age. I'm not sure how that would have actually worked at all. I'm guessing it probably used the cell phone link, but this doesn't have built-in wireless, so it couldn't have obviously done that. See, it's not perfect. It does have some scratches. But I don't really care. And as long as the camera itself works, which it does. The user interface, I think, is a little bit different. If it'll actually turn on here. There you can see sort of 1080p switch over. It actually gives you a runtime, which is neat. So, you do get some settings. There's a built-in time. There's your display brightness, audio. There's a microphone monitor, which I think is pretty neat. There's your image stabilizer. It's also got face detection, SD card format. There's your information. You can switch it into playback mode. A couple of different playback modes, it looks like. And switch it back into camera mode. So I think we're going to go ahead and switch over to this. So I will be right back. Thanks to the magic of video editing. Okay, here we are with Kodak ZI8 1080p 60fps mode. Sorry, 1080p 720p 60fps mode, I should say. Same as the Zen I6.
I do think that it works a little better than i6 does. It's still got the same narrow field of view, which is unfortunate. But, uh, that is what it is. Okay, just as a quick little comparison, this is with the electronic image stabilizer turned off. We'll take a look at that. Compared to it on, I don't think it makes much of a difference in the field of view. I think what you see is what you get. At the very least, it does seem to work a little bit better. Of course, I'm using it in better lighting conditions than I was using the ZI6 when I initially tested it. I'm not sure if this actually has optical zoom. I don't believe so. No, because I think I would see the lens moving if it were optical zoom, and I don't. So. color. Zooming is a lot smoother than the ZI6. But no, it's definitely digital. You can see the close-ups of pixels. Here's the box for the ZI8. Yeah, the lens seems to work a little bit better on this. There's a little bit of interior footage. It's not as much light. And you can compare and contrast to the ZI6. Might do a proper low light test later. It does have a red light on the front of it when it's recording. not waterproof. I think some of the later handheld cameras from Kodak are waterproof, but this one's not. Yeah, that works much better. Here is some nighttime video, or at least some video with darker lighting conditions, similar to what I tested the ZI6 in. Doesn't seem to really do any better than the ZI6 does. 
I don't think it's worse. But it's still just not very good. The lower lighting conditions. It's a bit unfortunate, I thought it would do better. Because it's not quite as dark as it was when I was testing the Zen i6. It's still pretty dark out there. It was supposed to storm today, it never did. You can only barely see the uh, that thing sitting over there. That's pretty visible. Now I don't know how much more or less visible this stuff is going to be in the final product. Just because you never can tell with an LCD screen. This gate does not want to close. Should have checked to see if I turned the image stabilizer back on. Pretty sure it did. If you can hear the crickets, how well you can hear them. There's another camera for video. I keep forgetting about. I need to do something with that. Yeah, no, short little low light test video. I thought it would have done a little bit better. But I guess it's not that bad really.